Look, let me tell you something. I learned a fact the other day that blew my mind. Do you know how most whales die? They drown. They spend their entire life living in and swimming in a world that eventually kills them. You know why that is? Whales are mammals. Most mammals walk on the face of the earth, but the whales live in a world that they are not of. They are in the water, but they are not of the water. So while other fish can swim around for their entire life with gills breathing in the water, the whale has to come up out of the water to live. There is a life source that is not in the world that he lives in that he needs access to. This is going to go over some of y'all heads, but I'm going to just say it and be obedient to what God is telling me to say. You are in this world, but you are not of this world. And I'm saying this because there's a lot of y'all who are like, yo, Russ, I'm working on my mental health. I'm working on my, my physical. I'm getting more rest. I'm eating right. I'm working out. But I still don't have peace. It became apparent to me that we are unaware of our needs. We know if we're hungry, we know we need to eat. We know if we're thirsty, we need to drink. If we're tired, we know we need rest. If we're stressed out, we know we need to work on our mental health. But you are completely unaware of how to tend to your spiritual needs. You are not just a mind. You are not just a body. You are a spirit wrapped up in the flesh of a a man and a woman and in this life you need God there is no other way around it you need God you need to pray you need to worship you need to seek his face you need to read your word because in this life if you don't learn how to come up for air you will drown